Hello, we're back and this time I'm going to be trimming Millie's paws. So her paws are looking pretty shabby at the moment. So what you're going to need is scissors. So I've got a normal pair of scissors and a pair of thinning scissors and then a comb. I'm just going to use her fine tooth comb. So what we're going to do is just give them a comb forward. I'm going to work in sections. So each kind of chunk that you can see I'm going to work in sections of let's say three so I'll start by combing this backwards so it's kind of spiking up I'll just trim so not all the way down so you can see that's miles better already and then once that's done I'll go in with the thinning scissors and just thin it out so it looks a bit more natural so it's not such a blunt line and that's one done already as you can see, Millie sits really nicely when I groom her and this did take a bit of training and we did it in stages. So rewarding her for letting me hold her paw to then introducing her to grooming tools and rewarding any positive interaction or no reaction. So let me know if you'd like me to post any videos on how we got there and I'll be happy to do that. And then what I'll do, good girl, with the perimeter of her paws is I'll just tidy that up with the normal scissors. So obviously don't get too close that you you know get any of the paw pads but i'll just trim round okay so this is the one that we've trimmed um there's still a bit of work to do kind of up up at the top and then at the back with the clippers um but i'll let you compare that with this one good girls um which hasn't been trimmed and is very furry so when it comes to doing her back legs i'll get her head kind of under my arm um, and then I'll lift her leg and it's a lot easier for me to work on this way. So same thing again, just using the comb and combing through and then working in sections. So just brushing upwards. Um, good girls. Good girls. And then thinning it out. So once all the paws are trimmed, I'll take the clippers with no guard on, but with the blade pushed all the way back and then trim between the paw pads. And then between the ankle or the wrist joint, I'll just taper this hair and I'll cut it super short, which makes it look really nice and tidy. Keeping this hair short really helps when it comes to them walking through mud or things like that. It's a lot easier to clean their paws. So with the feathers at the back of the legs, it's pretty much the same method as the paws. So just combing through um, and just getting any tangles out and then combing upwards so that the hairs are standing and then just cutting through with the normal scissors and then leaving a bit of room for you to go in with the thinning scissors afterwards and just soften it up a bit. I'll also go in very lightly just around her bum and just thin some of that hair out because it can get quite thick sometimes. You can use clippers with this area but I just prefer to just thin it out a little bit with scissors. Yeah. And I've not taken that much off because I quite like the look of the feathers. I'm just neatening it up slightly. Good girl. I don't think I recorded cutting the front legs with normal scissors, but I was just thinning around. And sometimes the hair can fall a bit funny on the front legs. So I just took the thinning scissors around the leg and tidied it up. So then you can also do the same with the hair that's around the belly so this one I just neaten up a little bit with scissors I don't take too much off and then I'll just go in with the thinning scissors So the only reason I'm cutting this way is so that you can see it. Usually I would be sat here in front of her and cutting it, but it's hard to film it if I'm sat right in front of her. 
So this was me just grooming the other side, which I hadn't touched, and I'm just working through with the thinning scissors on her back and then on her back legs as well. I usually do her private area with normal scissors, but I never cut this too short. Right, so we're all done. Um, I've had to do a bit of cutting off camera as well, but here you can see how neat Millie's legs are. Um, and then let's see your front legs, my girl. Um, yeah, so it's just generally a lot neater. I did cut her feathers quite short. Um, I've not touched her tail or her ears because I don't really use scissors around there. But yeah, just a lot of thinning um, around her bum and then just trying to like blend it in. So yeah, hopefully that helps <laughs> as always. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I am, I am a DIY groomer, so please don't come for me. Um, hopefully this helps, um, but if you're not confident enough to do it yourself, then that is fine. Hopefully you enjoyed watching along. Um, Millie, are you going to jump up again? But yeah, if you've got any questions, just comment below or send me a message and I will try and reply. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that.